Hey everyone, just a uh, real quick and short video uh, pertaining to week 11 here. So uh, week 11, we talk about, uh, we're continuing our discussion of inter intergovernmental organizations. And more specifically, our lecture this week concerns the European Union. So a little bit of the history of the EU, how it operates, um, criticisms of the EU, uh, factors that make you know the EU favorable with some people there. Um, the EU is an example of a supranational organization. Um, in fact, it's the most poignant example of one of these. That's basically an intergovernmental organization where um, individual states give up their sovereignty to essentially be uh, governed by the uh, intergovernmental organization, which has its own parliament, its own legislature. Um, its own rules and laws and that sort of thing. So that's what we'll cover this week. Uh, in terms of uh, the requirements for this week, so you have that lecture video. Um, you've got another video that's 13 minutes long uh, that talks about the European Union in sort of greater detail and kind of a different context there. Um, and then you have several things to read. So more specifically, I've got you reading three critical essay, uh, essays this week um, from kind of from a variety of different uh, sort of perspectives here. Um, one of these, the politically charged murder shaking Paris. Uh, is a story from The Atlantic. Uh, it basically talks about uh, this, I believe, this story came out last fall, maybe, or over the summer, uh, but talking about a, uh, a, a crime, a murder that was um, uh, allegedly committed by a, a recent immigrant and how that has sort of contributed to the um, sort of feelings of nationalism and sort of the, the common discussion uh, in France about uh, immigration policy. Um, I'm going to give you another piece called The Threat of Civil War in Europe. Um, that's from the American Conservative, which, you, as you might imagine, is sort of a conservative perspective uh, on it uh, as well. And then a, a third article uh, from the New York Times, Italy's hard right lurch raises new concerns in Washington. Uh, I would say that's kind of a, a progressive take on it. So giving you a few sort of balanced uh, perspectives there. Um, each one of those articles I've included as a PDF in a folder there. Um, so you'll find a folder uh, for this module. No discussion this week, but you do have a, uh, an assignment, an essay assignment. Uh, and what I ask you to do here actually is to choose one of those three supplemental readings. I want you to read all of them, um, but uh, I want you to, to basically uh, choose one of those uh, and then summarize it and then answer a couple of uh, questions um, about each of those. So the summary will just be for the one, um, but I want you to read the three articles and then respond to the questions that follow there. There's only uh, two other questions after the summary there. Um, so go ahead and provide that. Use that as an opportunity to um, evaluate these ideas critically um, because they are you know, complex ideas. Um, you know, there's no right or wrong answer here. Uh, just looking for you to sort of think through those. So that's the assignment. Uh, that's what we got going for uh, week 11 here. Uh, I've got some grading and then just some information to post about the next uh, portion of the term paper. So I'm uh, working to get that done. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, have a great week, everyone. Thanks.